it was my fourth reunion and it was by far the most the the most aggressive the most fighting it was just very it was the longest i mean there was just so many issues yeah it was a lot it was a lot yeah welcome back to housewives nightcap we are so excited to welcome a jersey girl you know i love my jersey girls jackie welcome back we are so happy to have you hi thanks for having me well this season was wild so much so much happened This is your fourth season on Real Housewives of New Jersey, right? Okay. So how would you rate this season? Like looking back at all the other seasons you were on, how would you rate this season? Um, as an outsider looking in, I thought this season was just like phenomenal. It was packed with, you know, it had everything you could want. There was the drama. There was the, the marriage problems. There was the friendships. There was the digging. But there was also real life stories you know right. relationship stories um a couple trying to fix their marriage you know obviously my story which meant the most to me but um really like life-saving stories too so I feel like it had everything you can want and a really fun drama-filled trip to Nashville in the end I love Nashville so I loved what I loved is seeing like Jersey the all the Jersey people like Joe and like the Guidos in like the ha in the cowboy hats and like trying yeah. to be country. But I also thought the boys really shined in the Nashville episode. Did you talk to Evan about putting the dildo, <laughs> taking the <laughs> shot out of the dildo? No, uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm not even gonna touch it, you know? They were Evan, wild. You know, Evan is such a strong guy, but when it comes to like the wolf pack, like he's, <laughs> powerless like he just wants to have fun and they just drink a lot and he just like does things that are not very Evan you know yeah <laughs> Joe Borga too like I feel like he could just get anyone to do anything yeah but he's so that much fun sense. he's really fun it's so funny because I do feel like we really got to know the housewife husbands last season and then we were like we're obsessed with them we need to see them more so yeah. then you guys delivered this season does Evan like being involved in all that I mean it's obvious that he has fun but is he like I actually kind of like this yeah so I mean I will say last season no season my third season he didn't kind of like it like he yeah, right. he yeah. thought that you know he shouldn't have been, you know, talked about all season. I mean, obviously everyone knows by now that it was just a rumor that someone started. And like, I feel like he he felt like it was, his name was being unfairly dragged for a storyline. Right. Um, but, you know, he, he loves having a good time with the guys. He loved this season so much. He loves, you know, my first season, he used to, you know, I used to be like, Evan, can you come to this? And he'd be like, oh, I got to work. I got to do this. Like, who's going to drive the kids? And now it's kind of like, you know, when are we all getting together? What are we doing? You know, uh -huh. and they do it off camera too. They all get together off camera. So it's, it's great. It's a really solid relationship between the guys on the show. That's really cute. I love that they actually hang out in real life. Yeah. Um, but going back to what, you know, you mentioned your story um, with your eating disorder, you really bravely shared that this season. Um which I think was just so incredible because if you haven't struggled with an eating disorder, you probably know someone that has. Um, so what was that like for you to be so vulnerable and to share? Oh, it was such a relief. It was so amazing. And, you know, I kept this secret as secret as I thought I was keeping it for a really long time, almost two decades. And I've gone up and down just a little bit with my weight. Um, but I was at one point, you know, like next to death like I was really really emaciated and I, it felt like doing it in front of everyone was finally what I needed in order to to really get me to the next level um you know I knew I wouldn't if I did if I opened up in front of the whole world I knew I wouldn't let myself fail because I didn't want people to look at me and be like well she tried and it's too hard mm -hmm. you know so it felt so like such a relief it wasn't scary for me at all. I was so happy to start talking about it and to start like taking these secrets that I had inside for so long and putting them out there, you know, now that I'm, you know, getting to the other side of it, it's, it's just a totally different world. That's amazing to hear. Cause I was going to ask, how are you doing? You guys 
filmed several months ago. So how are you doing now? I mean, I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say that it's all, it's been easy. Um, there are parts of it that have been hard. The eating so much for me is not the, the hardest part. That is hard for me introducing new foods, but my body changing has been a little bit difficult for me, but um, I am still in every single week since the cameras went down. I've been twice a week therapy and once a week with a medical nutritionist. And, um, you know, I just have to learn to, you know, living in a different body to me, it's for most people is not a big deal. Changing sizes for me, it's a very big deal because I've identified myself for so long by my size. And it's just a lot of work to, to learn how to not do that and learn how to not have external things validate the way you think about yourself. So I'm doing a lot of work on myself, but I mean, it's, it's been life changing. I just, I enjoy food now. I'm present during meals with my family. Yeah. We just went on a one week vacation, which I had never, ever done before. I ate out a lot, a lot of nights in a row, which I was never okay with. Mm. And, um, you know, it's just, you know, life's a lot better on the other side. Uh, you brought up your kids, you know, I thought a really powerful scene this past season was when you were eating ice cream with them mm. and they were like so excited that you were eating ice cream and you were trying their different flavors. Have they been a part of your journey? Like, do they know what's going on that, you know, mommy's in recovery for this and that she's working through this? And uh, also well, like two, two viewers, do you recommend sharing it with the kids? Um, Yes. Well, I think the, the problem is you think your kids are so little and not picking up on things, but they certainly are. And um, I have teen boys and I have 11 year old daughter and son. And they, um, you know, now is the time where they're learning from you and picking up your habits. And I certainly picked up habits when I was that age. I watched things and um, I knew that already some damage had been done. You know, there was a, definitely already, they had noticed a lot of things that I didn't think they did. So I had to bring them, I had to talk to them about all of this um, so that maybe I could undo some of that damage and teach them that what I did was not healthy at all. And I wanted them to see me now modeling healthy behavior. So I didn't want to just like be like one day eating ice cream. I wanted to talk to them about why it's such a big deal, why it was dangerous to live like I lived, what I'm doing now. So I, I really have been trying to educate them, um, not in like an overwhelming kind of way, but little by little. But, you know, everything about that ice cream scene <clears throat> was so authentic. Like I had never had it before in my adult life. I've always taken them for ice cream and I just sit there with a the water and that's what they were used to. It didn't bother them because they never knew any different. And um, they really, they really loved it. In fact, they asked me the next day when we can go for ice cream again. They just really loved it. That's so nice. I'm so, I'm so, that scene was just I think it hit so many people because it was well, just, I can't wow. believe it turned out the way it did because I was so nervous about it and I didn't know if I'd be able to follow through. Right. Um, I didn't know if that's a lot of pressure. They would react to it if they wouldn't know what to say, you know, and I just everything was just so sweet and authentic and it was just so amazing. I love watching it back. I love that it's caught on camera. That's a part of the reality show you we as viewers like forget like for you guys, you have these memories on camera forever. Yeah, that is true. So going back to Nashville, it got- Gotta go back to Nashville. Talk about the fight between Marge and Trey. What was your reaction when that happened? I panicked. Throwing, the throwing of the all the food and beverages? Yeah. yeah. I mean, my reaction was like, I know that Teresa was pissed off. I don't, I don't think at that dinner that Margaret said anything that was so offensive. I think that Teresa brought it up and I'm not just defending Margaret, but I think no matter what, throwing things is unacceptable. I think physical violence is unacceptable. Like use your words, even if they start with a C or an F, like use your words, you know, <laughs> like throwing things all over somebody else. I just feel like is, is a level of violence that's unacceptable. I was shocked. Yeah. I mean, I was shocked as a viewer. We were, Emily and I were texting. We were like, wait, was that real? And then we watched back and we're like, yeah, no, that was real. That was like not a, you know, oh, yeah. storyline sure. sort of thing. That was a real thing. No, definitely. And Margaret was very upset. And and right. she was really covered, covered in, in liquids and food. It was mm. gross. So do you think we will see these two ever make amends? 
I don't know. You know, it's it's very strange. They have like when they fight with each other, like I know reunions coming up, like it, it like it's dirty and it's vicious. But I do think deep down there's a part of them that goes so hard on each other because they feel something for each other. I think there's I a love. There's I a do love. feel like yeah. there could be a, t- a day when they, they reconcile, but I don't know how it's going to ever get there. I feel like Louis might be a good influence. He doesn't seem to like the fighting so much. And she does seem so happy. Louis, I Louis like- on ca- sorry, go ahead. I agree, Lauren. Like Louis on camera, I don't, I don't know anything about the guy, but on camera... And on the show, he comes off as very sincere. He really yeah, seems I mean, to love it's her. very confusing because like you hmm. hear everything and then like you meet him and he's really a calming influence. You know, I mean, take it with a grain of salt, but like he seems to want to get Teresa into a much better place with everybody. So he does. I mean, you never know, you know. So you brought up the reunion. You guys already taped it. Uh, Margaret, Dolores, you guys on uh, Watch What Happens Live have all said that it was crazy, that it was just not any kind of reunion. What did Andy say again? I can't remember. He <laughs> said like he's still recovering. Yeah, he's still recovering yeah. from it. Yeah, that that's not that's not an exaggeration. It was my fourth reunion, and it was by far the most the the most aggressive the most fighting it was just very it was the longest I mean there was just so many issues yeah it was a lot it was a lot yeah um well I loved your look you looked fabulous thank you (laughs) so I loved everybody in gold I thought it looked like yeah very there's been a lot a shift in reunion looks like we always used to get the most fierce amazing reunion looks and I feel like these last two years a lot of people are missing the mark and Jersey did not. No, this, Jersey did oh, not. Yeah. Jersey always goes like big, you know? Yeah. I feel like the Jersey cast is just so, I mean, I feel like all the housewives are really beautiful, but like the Jersey cast, I feel like is really like a beautiful bunch of women. They yeah. like to get dressed. They like to do their hair. They like glamour. So yeah. You guys know how to show up. Yeah. A thousand percent. Now with the reunion, I know you can't tell us too much, but like, what was your big conflict? Like, who were you going at it with? Did, was there any time for you to even speak? Yeah, well, I think that um, Teresa always has a problem with me. Mm. I don't think that's ever gone away. And I think, um, you know, by proxy, Jennifer has a problem with me because I think that she doesn't like whoever Teresa doesn't like. So um, both of them were kind of coming at me. And, uh, but like you said, I was not the center of the conflict, but yeah, I I went back and forth with Teresa and Jennifer for sure. It's always good though, when you're not the center, because that's that's not pleasant. I paid my dues last year. (laughs) Yeah. I'm I'm happy. And I do feel like my, my purpose this season was absolutely to tell this story. Yes. Agree. So I didn't, I didn't need to be the center of anyone's um, conflict. But I mean, the fact that they were, you know, digging for information on Evan, who I love and I will fiercely protect no matter what, when both of them have like, (laughs) are with people who have such like torrid backgrounds of actual stuff for them to be digging information on my beautiful husband just will never sit right with me. So we definitely had some words. Joe and Andy confirmed that Joe did walk out of the reunion. Can you tell us why? Can you give us a hint? Because now there's reports online saying that it's actually because of the Evan rumor. Oh yeah, I read that. Yeah, there's so many reports. There was a lot of issues, like old school family issues. Okay. With the Gorgas. So I will say that uh, like, um the I you know Evan does come up but that was certainly not the reason listen I think Joe Gorga loves Evan but not enough to like walk off the show you know no. so, I'd love to think he loves him that much but I don't think he does um <laughs> so I I think that you know it's no secret now that Teresa is not including Melissa in in her wedding right party. we uh... a lot of issues around that 
a lot of family issues, a lot of old <clears throat> school issues from days before I came along. Right. And I think that um, there was a lot of a lot of tension and he reached a boiling point. Mm. Which I feel like has happened before in the past. Like this is yeah, those gorgas run hot. That's just how it goes over there. <laughs> but uh, Jackie, will would you like to come back next season? Of course. I mean, I love the show. I don't always love, you know, I don't always love the kind of drama that can destroy a family. Mm. But. Um, there are so many good parts of the show and, and I love those parts. So, and I love being part of the Bravo family. So yes, I would love to come back. We would, I mean, I would say, I just said, we would love to have you back. I'm like, I have no power in this. Just, <laughs> um, <laughs> Lauren, send me a contract. Send me your- <laughs> Let me go write that up. No, but we would on it, like as a fan, I would love to continue to see you. I love this cast. I don't want anything to change. Cast. I love this cast. I think you guys are so entertaining. I love the dynamics. Like, I don't want anyone in. I don't want anyone out. That's yeah, how I, I agree. Feel. That's how I yeah. feel. Oh, well, thank you. 